pulled some of the lenses off. Now there's actually a number out there, so I need all you car boffins to have a look and see if you can identify it from this number. The number is 953543. Yeah. So in line with that second date arm thing. Yep. So it's another two cars. Yep. And then opportunity to leave the, the main That's the line about there. Yeah. Hey guys, well, we've just found another car. So this car is sitting on its roof, so it's really hard to identify. So we're just at a different boat ramp now, and we're just going to jump in and see what it is. All right, guys, let's hope it's one of the missing persons cars. All right, guys, just about to dive on this next target. Let's go see what kind of car it is. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
vehicle is the type of station wagon. I broke some lenses off and I'll see if I can't identify it from that. But if you guys can identify this type of vehicle, please let us know. I'll go let um, Jason know it's not his dad's car. Definitely not your Camry. What do we have? So, I'm sorry Jace, it's not your dad's Camry. Now I sort of noticed that by the few shakes of the head. Yeah, so it is really difficult to tell what it actually is, mm -hmm. but it's a um, station wagon. Okay. So, I wouldn't have picked that from the sonar. No. But yeah, definitely a station wagon. I did break away a few bits of the lens because sometimes the lens has what brand it is yeah. but unfortunately it broke apart in a million pieces all right been there a while uh, covered in those um what do you call them uh, not clams muscles oh, okay. absolutely covered in muscles so i could i tried to scrape away no number plates yeah. tried to scrape away where the badges would be yep there's no grill in it, it's the grill's out of it, so you can't, so I've got an emblem on the front. Yeah. Couldn't find anything on the back. It's mm -hmm. just a, a wagon of some sort. When you guys look at the video, if you guys can help me identify what type of car it is, that'd be awesome, because apart from a very old station wagon, I've got nothing. Yeah, and that's it, guys. It, had, um... it did actually have steel rims with plastic mud guards on it, like um, hubcaps. Okay. But So not alloy wheels or anything like that. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's with all the videos, guys. If um, there's like the one earlier today, we're not sure what it was. So when Dan does release his um, videos on his YouTube channel, if you could go and help identify them, because um, yeah, it, someone might know cars a little bit better than what we do. Yeah, so these are the, the lens pieces I pulled off. I haven't got my glasses on, there's some numbers there. Yeah. So we'll see if we can get those numbers off it and that might be able to tell us a little bit more. All you car nuts out there can find the lens for that car. Then, have you got glasses? Do you need glasses? No, I don't need glasses. Well, there you go, I, I do. Feel, I, I feel like can I, you read that number? Uh, yes, I can. It is actually... That's over... That looks sort of like a 953543. Okay, so if someone knows parts of cars, yeah. station wagon, I dare say 90s, maybe even 80s, um, well encrusted. Right, yeah, guys. Been there a while. We'll get on to the next one. Okay. Cheers. Yeah. Right, right, Jace. We've now finished up our trip here in Tassie. I've still got one more spot to search up north, so I'm gonna head up north tonight and check that one body of water that was near your dad's house. Yeah. Um, but we're at the stage now, we, we've searched all the areas that we plan to search on this trip. Yep. We knew we only had a certain amount of time, so we we did. Did, we've done what we could. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to give you the answers that you want, no, no, but no, I no, did no. get you some answers as far as <laughs> we, where we he's know not. where he's not. Okay, so, so we got lots of answers. Yeah, so we're we're working towards coming to an outcome for you. Yep. Okay, but it is going to be a long, methodical process, um, and that's why the only way we can be thorough. There are some spots that we still need to check. Yep. But we need to regroup and actually work out. You've got some homework you've got to, to do for me. Yep. Um, and then we'll um, organise another trip down and we'll see what we can do about having a little bit more longer time maybe down here. Yep. Um, a week went by like that. It was crazy. <laughs> so lots of thanks to a lot of people. Uh, Jared from Adventures with Purpose, mate, without your inspiration, and Jacob from Chaos Divers, you know, there's there's a whole group of you over there in the States. Dare, Adventures with Purpose Down Under is now a thing. We're out there searching the waterways for lost loved ones so we can actually give them some answers. We're also cleaning up the environment. We've identified five cars. I've kind of lost count. We've, we've, we've <laughs> identified a fair Same. few cars at the moment. So if we can come back, we'll get them out of the environment if the local authorities aren't interested mm -hmm. okay yeah. so we'll get that next time we come down as well so 
Ventures with Purpose, US, thank you so much. Jason, thank you for letting me part, be part of your story. <laughs> thank you. You're the one who should be thanked for taking the time out that you have to come and to our little state yeah. to try and help, well, not just our family, but you know, as today we're trying to help Dale's family you know, find some answers Absolutely. where Dale might be. But yeah, just can't thank you enough. It's just, right. you know, like to do that for us. We're very this is, grateful. This is now a team thing, okay? Yeah, we c I couldn't do this by myself. There's just too much involved. Without gear sponsors like Apollo Dive Gear, um, Orc Torch, who are sponsoring me with my lighting. I've got two great lights. I've got a number of lights that I handheld you saw me use on this trip. That cuts through that dark water so well, and by far, uh, I'm so impressed with those things. Like I go in some pretty gnarly <laughs> kind of conditions and not one of them has failed on me. They're, they've worked a treat. So gear sponsors are absolutely awesome. Thank you very much. The viewers, you guys who have donated money through PayPal, through bank transfers and through um, Super Chats, thank you so very much. Without you guys, I'd have to pay all of this out of my own pocket. And to be perfectly honest, I haven't got that kind of money, okay? <laughs> it's, I've gone 1,500 kilometers, traveled on a boat, spent probably about two and a half grand on this trip. So you guys have helped me get a little bit of that back. So thank you so very much for that. Really appreciate it. I'm only a very small channel, so I don't get the same kind of financial backing as some of the larger channels do. And we're working towards it though, so we can be actually a bit better at uh, serving the community. We've already been given a couple of leads for next time when we come down. We've also got a lead for up in northern New South Wales as well no. for another missing person. So, thank you guys. Not the least to thank you is my beautiful wife Robin. Without her support, mate, can guarantee you none of this would have happened. Okay, she's a great woman, she wanted to come down with us, but the reality is we couldn't really afford to bring us both down. So, she's let me go off my little adventure for a week mm. she's a tremendous woman and i'd be lost without her so yeah love you honey see you home in a couple of days one uh, last thing that last car that we dove on the wagon pulled some of the lenses off now there's actually a number out there so i need all you car boffins to have a look and see if you can identify it from this number the number is nine five three five four three so it's a wagon of some sort i'm guessing 90s maybe even late 80s kind of thing it's absolutely encrusted in those muscles, muscles. Yeah. Um, i couldn't pick any kind of uh, no number plate at all there was no badges on it for me to say oh yeah this is a mishibishi or whatever mm. um, so hopefully some of you viewers will be able to help me identify it by that number so it was one of the tail lights lenses go do your work guys <laughs> help us out let's see if we can identify this car so then we can organize to come yeah. back and the same with the car earlier on today too yeah absolutely we got a bit of an idea but not not 100 percent are we no it's a long video thank you for hanging in there to the end god bless be safe every day's a gift and we'll see you on the next one cheers guys